run a general landfill site, so the waste that comes from domestic residents, commercial properties, um, light industry, so anything that's non-hazardous comes to this landfill site. Um, we accept about three and a half thousand tons a day on the landfill site. And in the process of that waste decomposing, uh, it naturally forms landfill gas, which comprises mainly carbon dioxide and methane. We then drill wells into the existing waste. We tap that um, gas and draw it down to the compound that you see behind me. And there we burn the methane in a spark ignition engine, which drives a generator, which generates electricity at 400 volts. It then goes to a transformer and gets stepped up to 11,000 volts and is pushed into the um, local grid, which is then pushed into the grid and serves the, lo the local area here. So any of the industries or the houses that are in this area will get this electricity. It's the first landfill gas to electricity project in Africa and it's still the only one operating in Africa. We've led the way, we've been the pathfinders, we've made it easier for any other person to do a similar project and follow us with, with the systems. Okay, this is the area that's completed being landfilled. So all that you can see over here is, um, was waste that's been compacted and this area has been rehabilitated. We decided two years ago to take on four civil engineering students. So we had one, uh, two in first year, one in second year and one in third year. Um, two of the students are still uh, in the program. One is graduating this year and the other one will graduate next year. So we have already increased the knowledge in South Africa with two students getting through the civil engineering degree. In the city we, we will replicate onto our new landfill site um, but you need sufficient volume of waste initially and then you need a constant flow of, of waste but once Basasa Road, which is this landfill site, closes, the new landfill site will take this waste from, from um, 2014, and then we'll look at uh, replicating in Durban. And many of the other municipalities have come to visit us and see what we're doing, and they seriously now looking at replicating what we're doing. Mm -hmm.